Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Spanish Mathematical Olympiad final round year 1998 problem number 5. We wish to find all strictly increasing functions from the set of positive integers into itself such that f of n plus f of n equals 2 times f of n for all positive integers n. My general hint for this problem, first Try to guess the general form of our solutions. And then, if you guess it, that's a funny part, then proceed by induction. Show by induction that f of n equals n plus b. If b is defined to be f of 1 equals 1 plus b. And moreover, notice that or ask yourself, how many integers are there in the intervals n to n plus b and 2n it n plus b comma 2n plus 2b? So give this problem a try and I will see you in a minute. Okay, so let, let, let b be defined as f of 1 minus 1. In other words, f of 1 equals 1 plus b, where b is obviously some natural number of 0. Okay, we will show, we will show by induction that f of n in fact equals n plus b for every for every positive integer n okay how can we do it well by induction uh, first let's check what happens at n equals 1 when n equals 1 we have f of n equals f of 1 equals 1 plus b. Why? By definition. <laughs> Obviously by definition. By definition. So, nothing special here. And now let's suppose, suppose that f of n equals n plus b for some integer, positive integer n. Let's suppose it for our inductive step. Well, by our functional equation, which I will mark asterisk, by asterisk, putting uh, our n, we'll get the following. We will get the following. f of n plus b or n plus f of n equals 2 times f of n. In other words, f of n is n plus b. So, i.e. f of 2n plus b equals 2n plus 2b. Very well. And now, what I want to do is to consider numbers f of n, f of n plus 1, f of n plus 2, and so on, up to f of 2n plus b minus 1, and finally f of 2n plus b. Very well. Let's see. We know that the first number, by our assumption, is just n plus b. And we also notice that the last number is 2n plus 2b. Okay. And let's also notice that in our upper row, here we have from n to 2n plus b, we have exactly n plus b plus 1 different values. Why different? Because our function is increasing, strictly increasing. So in our upper row, we have two n, n plus b plus 1 different values. But let's also notice 
that the cardinality of n plus b to n plus 2b intersected with integers, cardinality of that is also n plus b plus 1. So, since our function is strictly increasing, there is only one possibility. We must have consecutive numbers going from n plus b up to 2n plus 2b. So, since f is strictly increasing, since our function is strictly increasing, well, f of n plus r must be equal n plus b plus r for every r from 0, 1, 2, and so on up to n plus b. There is no other possibility because our interval has exactly n plus b plus 1 integers and we must have exactly n plus b plus 1 different values. So, so in particular, well, in particular for r equals 1, in particular, in particular, f of n plus 1 equals n plus 1 plus b. And that is what we want for our inductive proof. And to be honest, that closes our proof. Uh, that closes induction. That closes our inductive proof. So now we know that for every For every, so that f of n must be equal n plus b, where b is any natural number. Our function must be of this form. The only question remains, is every function of this form valid? Does every function of this form satisfy our equation? Well, it's pretty easy to see that if n of f of n equals n plus b, well, here we have, you know what, maybe I will, I will write it for clarity. Verification, verification. Verification, f of n plus f of n. It's just uh, f of n plus n plus b, it's 2n plus b plus b, 2n plus 2 times b, and that is exactly 2 times f of n. So every function of this form satisfies our equation. And that is our result. f of n must be n plus b, where b is some natural number. And that's it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.